Hey, what's going on, guys? This is CBC, and had a couple matches the other day. I uh, decided to show it because I remember I was talking recently about a Magneto and Sentinel uh, type of style. Um, one thing I could say is that I mean, this Magneto and Sentinel team could have been a little bit more aggressive. But one of the things that I'm that I'm noticing is that when a when this type of team realizes that it's so easy to punish the Sentinel assist because even if like I mean you can see the range of the bullets they stop calling out uh, Sentinel and when they stop calling out Sentinel they actually realize that my team isn't exactly that that good for defending an, an extreme rush an all or nothing type of rush then they start doing that but um, I was glad to show this because um, he realized this and I was glad to see that type of um, that change in his gameplay which is why I'm showing these matches um, it's just probably going to be two or three of them. I'm not really sure how many I'm going to put in it yet. But um, one of the things that I love fighting about Spencer's is that just because Deadpool has a counter hyper, um, as long as I have three meters, that the matchup uh, against Spencer becomes really easy. Um, many of the Spencer's are forced to actually take... A different type of uh, an approach. Now, usually you cannot call an assist because, well, I'm just spamming bullets all day. So they got to take a different type of uh, style, and I could say that Deadpool is actually a counterpick to Spencer. And I'm glad that this is because of this. Um, I want to see. I'm trying to. Um, you know, there's times when you lose faith in some characters, and sometimes you don't lose faith in characters. Um, I was I was always hoping that I see more Deadpool users because um, there's a lot of. There's a lot of hidden hidden mechanics and unused mechanics that a lot of people aren't using. Um, I was glad to see a couple of you guys sending me that Deadpool user in Japan called Ray-chan, um, who uses a Deadpool Doom and West scare, my team that I used to use in regular Marvel's Capcom, and win with it. And win with it because Deadpool standing lights and crouching lights are one of the fastest in the game, and you can stagger them, so you can keep going and you can rapid fire them and actually keep your opponent standing. And... Um, I demonstrated before, and you could actually see that sometimes his overhead is one of the hardest things to actually counter and to defend properly because people tend to use lights. Like you see right there, you cross over. One of the things that people need to do is you have to do heavy or special right away, and that'll win. Doing lights, I know, is safer, but that's not going to work. And here, I did a little bit too late. I didn't do the proper extra aerial exchange combo with uh, with Nova, didn't work, so I was forced to do this. I didn't do my reset properly here, but here you can see it, you know, when Nova goes high, if they're planning to block, there's no way they can actually stop it because Deadpool could spam light. And all you gotta do is slide and do a launcher as well. Um, as well, Deadpool's overhead is a frame trap. It's uh, advantage on block. And right there is what I was talking about, was the, doing the rapid fire standing lights. Um, one team that, that really usually destroys my team is, is a Wolverine team. Then again, Wolverine kind of destroys everyone. But uh, here I screw up really bad. This was such a stupid mistake. I should know better than that. And um, luckily, because Nova is a tank, one hit is the kill. And that's going to be this for this video. Hope you guys enjoy these two short videos. Take care, guys.